Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Recently, Google has started to roll out a new unified site panel to the stable version of Google Chrome for desktop, which brings a couple of new features. And just in case you're unaware, or maybe you hadn't noticed, that um, some of these new features in the new unified site panel include the new drop down flyout menu where the reading list and the bookmarks are now located. Uh, we also get a new resizable site panel so you can resize that site panel to your own personal choice and preference and if we head to the settings menu and we head over to the appearance page you can now also change the location of the site panel where by default it's shown on the right and now you can show that site panel to the left now in the stable version of google chrome now these features could be on a controlled rollout and um, i have noticed uh, the new unified site panel rollout over the last day or so in my region and at this stage um it's available in chrome version 108 which is the latest stable release so um, if you don't see the feature just make sure that you have the latest version of chrome updated to the latest version and build so you can change that to the left and also to the right now uh, in Google Chrome. Now some of these features that did roll out and have rolled out to the stable version of Google Chrome have been available previously in Chrome Canary which is a preview version as I have been posting on over the last couple of months and now um, Google has started rolling some of these unified site panel experiences out to the stable version being the menu, being able to resize that site panel and also changing the site panel uh, from the right and showing the site panel to the left of the browser now now on a side note uh, if you would like to disable the new unified site panel in the stable version of google chrome and just put everything back to how it was prior to this update it is possible to do by disabling the flag which is ex which is available in the experimental flags list now to disable the feature and the unified site panel and um, we just head to the Omnibox the address bar and we enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and in the search enter this flag unified site panel and the description reads revamp the site panel experiences like we did see being able to resize the site panel change it from the right to the left and also that fly out menu and because it's a default feature now the flag is listed as default as you can see but to disable it we just change that default to disabled and then we will have to relaunch the stable version of Google Chrome version 108 to apply that setting and that disabled um, setting of the flag and now if we head back to the site panel you will see that everything has been disabled and is back to how it was prior to Microsoft rolling out the new unified site panel where we get the reading list back to the top left the bookmarks back to the top right and um, you can see we can no longer resize the site panel that feature has been disabled and if we head back to the settings menu head over to the appearance page you can also see now those options to change the location from the right hand side to the left have also been removed and um, if you want to um, get the new unified site panel back and re-enable the feature once again we just head back to the experimental flags page in the search you would just enter unified site panel you would find that flag and then we change that from disabled to default relaunch the browser once again to apply that flag and reset the setting and now if we head back you will see the menu is back we can resize the site panel and if we head to settings we are able to change the location from the right hand side of the browser back to the left hand side and then back to the right so that's how you can disable and re-enable the unified site panel in google chrome which as mentioned is now rolling out to the stable version and just wanted to bring that to your attention in case you hadn't noticed or were unaware so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one